Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146, home of quick, easy, affordable, and always fun DIYs. Today is all about fast, fun, and festive spring decor. Let's get started right now. In this first DIY, I'm starting out with an old vase that I have filled with pine cones way from the winter, but any vase will work. It also has a lid on it, and I'm stuffing it with the reindeer moss from Dollar Tree. And I'm using about three bags, and you're gonna grab however many bags you think will uh, fill in your jar. And I also have the carrots from Dollar Tree. I love them, and this jar is so fun and festive and quite easy to put together. I think some little Easter eggs would be great in there too. So you just kind of have to fiddle with it and put them in there just like you like. And in no time, you have the perfect spring decor piece. I love it. And I'm so in love with reindeer moss. I just think it's great and looks so pretty in the springtime. So grab all the supplies and make yours today. And up next, I'm starting out with a crumpled piece of brown wrapping paper from Dollar Tree. I also picked up a Walmart frame. It's got a wide frame. And then a piece of chicken wire, wherever you can find it. I have found chicken wire at Dollar Tree before, but I don't see it that often. But just take a look in the Crafter Square section. I grabbed the uh, glass frame, and I'm just taping the paper around that. Now, to keep the chicken wire in place, I wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna use, but when you're not sure, grab the duct tape. It worked perfectly to kind of keep all those sharp edges uh, from getting you, and it just kept it in place nicely. And then all I'm gonna do is then throw it back into the frame, which I also had to use some duct tape as well. Putting it back in the frame was a little thick, but like I said, the duct tape worked perfectly and it just held it in place. I love it. So now this is the base of our project, a frame, some backing, the brown paper, and then the chicken wire. Here comes the fun part because here I'm using some florals from Dollar Tree and this is where you can do whatever you like, whatever florals you like, whatever color that you like. I love these little wispy yellow flowers uh, just to stick in there no hot glue required I love that and you just stick them in there and it is so cute so elegant a touch of farmhouse and then I decided well I could move this spring right into summer by adding um, some little sunflowers and these are also from Dollar Tree I think I'm not sure I'm not sure on that they could be from Walmart but I just added those in there and this whole thing is kind of yellowish I love it and isn't it darling? You could even also add like a welcome sign or any other kind of sign. But I added some, what is that? Uh, burlap ribbon in there for a bow. Perfect, ready to go. You can hang it or set it on a table. I love that this project is interchangeable. You can add any colors, some hot pink flowers would be great. And so I just hope that you can find all of these supplies and get started on your cool chicken wire frame today. If you see the Easter cling window clings at Dollar Tree, you better grab them because they are so fun to work with. And I just grabbed this board. It is actually the front part of a drawer, an old drawer. But whatever piece of wood that you have, I'm just whitewashing this. And again, this is like our base of our project. So if you love what's going on today and you're having a good time, leave me a comment down below. Well, the thing that uh, I loved about these window clings is this little truck. I love the color and all the things uh, that he's taking and delivering in the back. And so I just grabbed a, a glue stick. You can find these at Dollar Tree. I love that it's purple because um, it's purple when you put it down and then when it dries, it's clear. 
So I just popped that on there. You can use Mod Podge if you like, but I just find that this uh, glue stick works great as well. I also picked up some of this um, raffia. It has some colors, some fun spring colors. And it even matched the tires. I made a quick bow, grabbed some heavy duty wire to add for a hanger. Whoosh, that was done pretty quickly. And so one last little touch here, I'm adding Susie stuff because I'm going to deliver you some eggs. <laughs> A little rabbit popped in there. Better get him out of there. But anyway, I just think this is so fun, so easy. And don't forget about that glue stick. It works perfect with those window clings. I think this one is a winner. Next up, I'm using the, I'm reusing these houses that I picked up at Target. And then all the other supplies I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use some more window clings. But first, I'm going to take off these snowflakes that I put on there from the winter. Also, if you have a minute, go check me out over on Instagram. I uh, post some uh, little videos and things over there. So say hi over there. Now, you saw that I painted that white, and I'm using these little chicks. I think they are so cute. And I just used the glue stick again, pop that on there. And I think I put one or two, one, no, two coats of the white paint on there. I love these have little chimneys because it worked perfectly to pop some little purple flowers coming out the chimney. <laughs> I love it, so cute. And these little, this little trio would be great on a table wherever you like. Window, cling, window clings are perfect for DIYing with. Hope you love this one. And for this next project, it's really uh, a very artsy project. I'm using these um, wood pieces from Dollar Tree and some twine from Dollar Tree. This is some brown twine and they also had this green twine which I've never seen before. So I picked it up and I just wound the twine around the little squares. And this project is so interchangeable and uh, customizable. You can use yarn, you can use more, uh, you know, Easter colors and pinks and yellows. But the way you put it together is pretty cool. So I'm putting them, <laughs> I guess you could see what I'm doing. I'm doing the yarn one way and the other square the other way. And I'm connecting them using some popsicle sticks. And it all comes together like it's in a weave sort of way. Love it. And you can just see what I'm doing here, how I'm putting it all together. So you can see the popsicle sticks really helped it uh, stay all together. So now I grabbed these uh, metal flowers from Dollar Tree. They have them in uh, like this neutral beige color and then a pink color. And there you have it. You can use as many squares as you like and just make it a bigger piece. You can make it a wall hanging. I just love that technique of wrapping one way and then wrapping another. Now, what I'm doing here is just, I'm grabbing these things that you always see in Crafter Square. Uh, they have like a unicorn wooden piece that stands up and I'm just hot gluing it to the back to make sort of a stand. And it worked great, but I also have another idea. These little uh, mini palettes, the piece that's right down in there, and I love how that can make a stand as well. So here you go, a neutral spring decor piece. I love it. You could even put some florals in the middle with some uh, like pink and yellow uh, yarn, but I think it turned out great. How about you? And there you have it, our fast, fun, and festive spring decor episode. I have enjoyed you staying and hanging out with me to craft, and I hope I've inspired you to create some of your own. So thanks for joining me on Susie Stuff, KDIY Channel 146. Bye, everybody.